Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And um, man, look, I came out here to do a quick check on the bees because our temperatures were 27 degrees overnight. Bone chilling 27 degrees here in the south. So I came out here to see if there were any. Yeah. I came out here to see if there were going to be there was going to be any activity with the bees if they survived the night but y'all i'm already seeing them fly in and out i just saw two of them go in and out so i'm going to bring you a little closer i don't have my bee suit on i'm not going to do some deep inspection i'm just going to do a quick look inside i just want to see i don't even have my hive tool but i'm just going to do a quick inspection on them i'm probably going to even bring out some um some syrup for them too to kind of help keep them going through the winter the activity is very low but i'm going to go in and have a look All right, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but the bees are all, they're all right here. They're all right here on the inside of these two frames. So I'm going to go. All right, so I brought y'all back in closer because I wanted y'all to see that the amount of bees in here it's not, I don't have my hive tool, so I can't lift this up out of here. But I honestly just wanted y'all to see that there are bees down right here in this frame here and on the other side of this frame. Now, there is no other activity. <laughs> Had to make sure it wasn't on me. There's no other activity on any other of these frames. All of the bees are literally on this side of the frame here and on this side of the frame here. And that's it. That's it. So, I am trying my best not to aggravate them. I got a little girl on my finger here. Hopefully she ain't trying to sting me. Hopefully she's just trying to figure out what you're doing, what's going on, why you around the hive, you know? Yeah, she's not trying to sting me. She's just chilling on my finger. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. Back up. I'll close this back up here. Get the box on. And get my cover back on. All right, so I hope that gave you a better view of this hive here. I hope you was able to really get down in there and look and see with me how the activity is very 
uh, low, the uh, amount of bees is low. And like I said, I haven't done any inspections on this hive since the last time we looked at them together. I've just kind of left them alone because for those of you who are just joining us, we had two hives and our hives were attacked by wasp or hornets of some sort. And um, it totally killed off the other hive along with ants. The ants got really aggressive as well and they just destroyed our hive. So what we had left was in this hive. It's starting to, starting to warm up out here. Y'all, I got on so many clothes. <laughs> but um, what we had left was um, what you see there. And so, so far, they are still pretty much, they haven't increased. Doesn't look like in population. Of course, around this time, they start getting rid of the drones, the guys, you know, they kick them out. They gotta go, can't feed them. <laughs> So what you, what you saw, that's what we're going to be working with through the winter. And hopefully those are the girls that's going to be building the colony starting in the spring. But again, we have got to get this insulated because I don't know if they would be able to handle too many nights of below freezing temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and get them insulated, trying to come up with a solution for that. And um, hopefully we'll have a good hive come spring, you know, a hive ready to just go to work. And in the hive that we have in the background right here, I got to clean that up and put the cover back on. But that's going to be the hive for the next colony that we get. Now we have two here. We have two here. And we're planning to get two more hives just in case. You know, because, yeah, we almost lost both hives. So, yeah, we want to just kind of double that effort to just make sure that if something happens, we always have um, a backup for our hives. Okay? So, yeah. Because the goal is is to be able to have our own honey, our own source of uh, sweetener to go along with the uh, sugar cane that, Lead Farmer and Lady Lead sent us that we got planted already. Yes, yeah, a girl flying around my leg right here. <laughs> I guess you're trying to figure out what I'm doing here. You know, hey, where you been? But um, yeah, that's it, y'all. I just wanted to show you all because I know some of you were asking about how are the bees? Well, that's how they're doing. They haven't done anything extra from what I could see. From what I could see. So, yeah, that's where they are right now. But again, hopefully, hopefully, this will be the start to a brand new booming, booming hive in the spring. Okay? All right, y'all, that is going to do it for today. If you haven't done so already, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. Um, I'm going to show you in the next video why having chickens in this particular garden, it was great, but there was a downside. I'm going to show you that right after this. Thanks for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'm going to see you in the very next video.